in software go to the file folder select the data files drag it to the origin software now each here each data file will open in individual workbook select any one of them either you can go to the bottom left corner click on the line plot or you can go to the top left corner and click on the plot and go to the line and select the line over here you can see on the left hand top right corner there is a number right click and you can go to the layer content shortcut key is F12 click over here on the right hand side you have layer 1 which include the one data file on the left hand side you have five data files since in this case I have data starting from 400 then is a 500 600 700 and 800 so I will choose the same order so 400 is already over there click on the 500 then there is an arrow pointing toward the right which shows add plot if you look at the pointing toward the left it shows a remove plot so click on the add plot and it will add into the plot then do the same for 600 and the 700 and then again 800 and just select them group it oh sorry 4 5 6 7 so there is something missing i think a 600 is missing so i add a 600 but this is not the position where i want to add so i will move it upward so the 400 500 then is a 600 700 and then 800 now select all of them and group it okay now we can see all plots and if you go toward the right hand corner and here you can see option for the rescale the if you don't see the shortcut key is ctrl r uh, bottom left corner and click on stack line by y offset so if you click over here it will stack it by y offset we need to mark which one is which right so this black start from 400 if you just double click you will come to know the first is 400 then 500 600 700 800 400 500 600 then 700 and at last is 800 now here C corresponds to degree C, so I need a symbol for the degree. Right click and go to the symbol map. The shortcut key is Ctrl M. And then in the symbol map, you can go to the symbol. Or here is a symbol for the degree. Click it and then click on the insert. So it will get inserted. Now you can just select it, copy, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Done. Now if suppose somebody don't want to see a box around it, so just right click over here, go to the properties. In the properties, you can go to the frame, in the frame, click on the box and click the none option and apply. Now this way you can remove the box. Now again click on the data and if you want to change the line width, you can change it to the line width by selecting number over here. Now what is x-axis is the Raman shift. So you can write down, double click and write down the label is a centimeter minus one. Select the minus one and over here you can see upper script, superscript or uh, subscript. So click on the superscript and it will be like Raman shift in centimeter inverse. If you want to change the font size, is a 36 and then if you want to change this number is 24 and when you plot data in a offset format then this number doesn't make any sense double click and it will give you a trick labels show or unshow so just uncheck this box and apply and this way it will be invisible now you can go to the line and tricks in the line and tricks <coughs> here is a major trick option so we have total four options in and out in out and none i prefer to choose in for major trick and for minor trick the same in, in the same setting i want to apply for the option for the left and right so check this box if you do this one then we can see for both right and left it looks the same format similarly you can click on the bottom 
axis and then measure tricks in minor tricks in and use the same option bottom and top say yes apply so now we have the same option for all four sides what is here here is a intensity so double click type and it's arbitrary unit so we just track a dot u dot again the font size is 36 but now you'll notice that it's not easy to fit this one over here double click on the uh, Raman chip scale go to the scale and uh, maybe I can start here from 100 and end at 2000 so apply press F2 okay so that we can change the dimension so width I would like to reduce width to say 6 and height I want to keep around 10 and apply if you want to remove the gap between this y offset again you can double click over here and go to the offset so initially is 0 for the plot number 1 and then for plot 2 is 983 so let's reduce it to say 400 and see what happened apply and now it shift toward the lower and then this one 400 so maybe 800 let's see how it look like it's pretty close so maybe i will change this instead of 400 change it to 300 how it is okay this looks good 800 and then over here maybe 1200 okay then this one 1500 no maybe 1700 still not good enough so 80 okay now again you can go on the right hand side on the rescale so once you rescale sorry and uh, this one again we can set back to 100 to 2000 easy to point out if there is any shift also uh, this box can move inside if you want to change the font just go here and select the font size that's also done if you want to plot a vertical line so for example let's consider what is the peak position the peak position for x is 576.99 okay so to the graph and add straight line okay so what straight line do you need you need a vertical straight line at value 576.9981 apply close if you don't want to show this number just click it here and right click and delete okay if you want to change the format for this vertical line you can select the vertical line and if you want to use a dash with the size say 2 and the color is say pink okay now from here we can clearly see there is a shift in the Raman peak peaks are same but the intensity is varying with increasing the annealing temperature so such type of variation are more clearly visible if you plot them in vertically stacked plot uh, rather than overlapping over each other if you click over here it will enable disable anti-alias just click and the plot looks much smooth this way uh, we can plot vertically stacked raman data i hope this video may have helped you to learn how to plot vertically stacked data if you like it do share and subscribe and please don't forget to hit the bell icon button